What a beautiful day. Today, we are at Shinjuku Station, heading to Enoshima. It's end of August. Summer vacation is not over yet, but there are already few people in the town. From Shinjuku to Enoshima, it takes about an hour. We'll use the Odakyu line. By the way, there are just so many lines in Shinjuku. It's like a maze. So yeah, if you are visiting Shinjuku, before come over here, check what line you need to use. For Odakyu line, firstly, going to downstairs. And the turn right. Basically, you just need to keep the sign. This place was under construction for a very long time, but uh, after they finished the construction, it became a really open place and it's much easier to walk. I love it. When you arrive to West Concourse, just turn left and keep straight. By the way, this place is under construction as well. I guess Shinjuku Station will be better. Here we go. We need to change the train at Fujisawa Station. We are using the rapid one, leaving from 150. Yep, the platform truck number five. So this is the place. It's still rapid one. Sometimes you have to wait kind of long, so make sure to check the time before you come over here. The our rapid express Odawara is the next next one. The red one is for the next one, and the blue one is for the next next one. So if you want to make line, just be careful. And the next one arrived, but this is not the one. People will on the train from the red one, and the blue one will move to the red. <laughs> wow, it seems like no one is following the rule in this time. However, when the rush hour time, it will be really important. So just remember, if you want to take a seat and you want to be in line. <laughs> Wait, I just realized this is the one we have to take. Wow, let's find a seat. Hopefully we can find a seat because it takes about an hour. After I arrived to the station, everyone took off the train and now it became almost slower. We arrived to Fujisawa station. This is the last stop and we have to change the train. It's truck number four, Katase Enoshima. Yes, that's the train we are taking. I'm wondering how many of them heading to the Enoshima? <laughs> not that many, huh? Seems like inside the train, it's not that crowded. We arrived to Katase Enoshima station. Oh, sweet. Probably most of them are going to either Enoshima Island or Enoshima Beach. Oh, that's the ad of the Enoshima Aquarium. It's a jellyfish. I've never been there yet. Maybe I should visit there. Inside the station, there is coin lockers, but not that many, huh? And also, all lockers in use, so... Uh, probably a little bit of think before you come over here if you having the big luggages. And I found something interesting and something special over here. Yes, that's a snack vending machines. But uh, look at that, they have the baby diaper. <laughs> it would be really useful. Some are, you know, carrying the kid. Maybe not that many drug store around here, so that's why. All right, sweet. Let's go. By the way, from Shinjuku to Enoshima, 649 Japanese yen. Again, what a beautiful day. Ha, look at that. They still sell the swim ring. The season is almost over though. This is how the Katase Enoshima station looks like. Technically, this is not Enoshima station. However, you know, it's walking distance like a potato potato. It looks like Ryugujo, which is a really popular traditional Japan story. Oh sweet, there is Kuwaina, which is one of my favorite Hawaiian burger restaurants. But today, we are eating seafood since we are here, so not bad. Yes, that's the island we are heading to. 
inside the island. There is a restaurant and uh, I believe we can see the ocean beautifully, so I'm excited. Seems like this place too, it's not that crowded. So I don't think the restaurant will be packed. Hopefully we can find a seat easily. This is the street heading to Enoden, Enoshima Station. It's a really nice train running beside the ocean. If it's your first time to coming to Enoshima Island, I recommend you to try the Enoden because it's really beautiful too. If you want to see, please check this video. So this is the way to go. Let's keep walking. Last time when I was here, because it was during the pandemic, some restaurants were not opened, but hopefully today all the restaurants is open now. If you are heading to beach, left side, if you are heading to Enoshima, going to straight. Firstly, let's go to check the beach. I'm wondering if still there is a people swimming. <laughs> Sweet. Seems like still there are many people enjoying the ocean. Well, this year I haven't swim yet. Maybe it's till next year. Oh, wait. We can go to the island from here too. Yep, the district continues to the island. Let's keep walking. Seems like that's the coin locker and also that's the restaurants. Oh, interesting. There is a park beside the beach too. Maybe it's a paid area. Kids might love it. It's the dead end. We have to go back. So yeah, if you are coming to Enoshima, then make sure to use the other exit. Otherwise, you have to go back. All right, we came to the other side of the street. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> Loving it. Well, you can't cross the street over there because it's dangerous. <laughs> Don't ask me if I cross the street or go back. Yeah. There are jet skis too, but uh, seems like no one there. There is a tiny souvenir slash food street over there, it's always crowded. I'm wondering how it looks like today. Hopefully, it's not that crowded though. Today, you see the observatory over there. We are heading over there and also behind the island as well. Well, it is crowded, but thinking about the place, it's not that bad, huh? How do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you feel like it's pretty crowded, but uh, trust me, it's not that bad. Let's see, what do they sell over here? They sell corn, 500 Japanese yen, and uh, turban shell, 1,400 Japanese yen. Squid as well, 950 Japanese yen. It's the souvenir area, those are kind of snack. You can eat it with white rice. Also, Enoshima seaweed. Huh. Looking pretty good. Here, also they sell the seafood and the drinks. Chuhai is 300 Japanese yen. Beer is 350. Think, thinking about the price, not that bad, huh? Oh, yes, that's the one. Shirasu, which is the white bait, is really popular here. So. If it's possible, I want to eat that. This restaurant seems like still the terrace seat is available. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's the seafood bowl restaurants. Oh my goodness, look at this lobster. Big shrimp. 3,550 Japanese yen. Also, Oh my goodness. Well, if the restaurant was not available, maybe we could come back here and eat it. They have tempura and the seafood. Now, let's go to the main street. Yeah, it's not that bad, not that crowded. The restaurant that I want to try is all the way up. 
Mama kok. <laughs> Look at this souvenir place. Really old toys, but here you can still pay the PayPay, which is the e-payment. <laughs> Look at those small chairs. Cute. Oh, and also those octopus rice cracker is popular here. I'm wondering if we can get it today. If there is not that long line, let's do it. It's the soft serve and the cucumber. Wow, look at that grass art. It's beautiful. They have a cat one as well. Oh, that's Japan's traditional sweet. Yokan. Yokan. And also they sell manju as well. <laughs> nice! There is a post office. Oh, interesting. They have a denim lemonade and also denim soft serve. <laughs> interesting. And I guess, seems like it's popular. Oh, look at this seafood bowl store. Oh my goodness, this place too? <laughs> Looking pretty good. Uh, oh, wait. They have the Isi Shrimp Seafood Bowl. It's one of my dream seafood bowl. One day I will try that. Seems like it's market price. I'm wondering how much it would cost. Oh, yes. And this is the popular octopus rice cracker place. Seems like there are so many people waiting. Well, inside the store, there is a line too, so probably it would take a long time. If there is no that long line, maybe we can try that when we go home. So, yeah. Firstly, let's go to the restaurants. The restaurant is all the way up. Yep, it's a perfect training for Mount Fuji challenge. Alright, let's keep walking. By the way, there is an escalator going to top up the Enoshima. So if you don't want to walk, you can just use the escalator. Price is 360 Japanese yen going to top. Not that bad. So let's go in up. Huh, sound of cicadas. Loving it. Today, it's only 31 degrees, so not that bad, but uh, during the summertime, I recommend you to use it. Escalator. The next stairs, almost there. It's almost there. Oh, what's that? There's something new. Wow. It does seem like a grape. And also, <laughs> the water coming from the top. Feels much cooler over here. Loving it. This is the way to go. Oh, that's their Goshuin, which is the stamp by the shrine. Each shrine temple has a different stamp. One well, of my Christian friend, he is not a Buddhist, neither Shinto. However, he loved to correct this Goshuin as an art. He told me that he's kind of feeling guilty and he can't really tell to the Christian friend because you know, it's kind of awkward <laughs> but uh yeah i think it's okay you know if he's just correcting as an art i think yeah no one cares even in the island there are many restrooms on the truck so you don't really have to worry about the restroom so that's the entrance for the next escalator all right halfway there Let's keep walking. By the way, this is the way to go. Oh my goodness, look at the town. Beautiful. <laughs> Around here, because of the no sunshine, it's much cooler. It's almost there, I believe. 
Oh my goodness, there are houses. Imagine if you live here. It would be a good life. Oh, that observatory, it was closed the last time when I visit here, but seems like it's open now. Let's go! So, ticket costs 800 Japanese yen. However, if you want to stay up to 5 p.m., you have to pay 500 extra. Let's do it. Seems like they only accept the cash. And 200 Japanese yen change. It's my first time to visit here, inside. Wow. What do we have here? Oh, maybe in the night time, it will be lighted up. Those two. Oh wait, there is a cat. I remember there is a cat living in Enoshima. Oh, it's gone. Sweet. There is a place to take a rest. Huh, seems like it's Chinese style. I travel many places during the pandemic, but I couldn't see many places neither because the buildings were closed. So hopefully this year. I can see more and I can share more with you guys. So please look forward to it. If you haven't, more adventures are coming. So please don't forget to subscribe. Yes, don't be shy. Anyways, so let's go to the observatory. Well, I believe this is a way to go to observatory. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's keep walking. Oh yeah, seems like, yes, we are on the right track. Oh, there is a cafe. Maybe we can eat it here. No, 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 no. Seafood, seafood, seafood. <laughs> yep. We have the destination. So, I guess this is the way to go to the observatory deck. Oh, yeah. Great to know there is an elevator. All right, let's go. Wow, it's beautiful. Yes, that's the place we were coming from, over there. Alright, here we go. Wow! Oh my goodness, that's... That's beautiful. <laughs> Sorry guys, I always say beautiful. Maybe I should use some other word like, you know, incredible, fantastic, or oh my goodness, whatever it is, but uh... <laughs> It is beautiful. You know what I mean? If you have a good word, please recommend me in the comment section. You know, I'm not a native English speaker, so if you have a good suggestion, please let me know. Oh, look at the bird over there. Maybe it's because too strong wind, he can't really fly. This is the bay side. Seems like not that many people over there, and also that side as well. Yes, we are heading over there, and the one of the restaurant, we can see beautiful scenery, and they sell the seafood. So, yeah, let's go. Nice atmosphere. Oh, we can go outside. Let me see. Outside feels much better. Wow. You know, I'm afraid of the heights, but this place, not that much because of the scenery. Well, after I talk about it, suddenly it became scary because, you know, it's super strong wind and this place is kind of shaking. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Let's keep walking. It's almost the time of the sunset. Nice. But I don't want to get closer. Maybe you can't feel much, but uh, it is windy. <laughs> Let's keep walking quickly. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, that was nice. 
Let's go down. Ah, oh, nice. This tree has good atmosphere. Such good vibes. Loving it. This place would be beautiful in the night time, however, the restaurant will close at 6 p.m. So we have to get there before that. And also, it would cost 500 extra. So if you have time, maybe you can stay up to the night. I think there are many places that you can relax and uh, maybe you can have coffee and uh, take a break. Let's go to the restaurant. I'm starving. Yep, hopefully the restaurant is not that crowded. I believe it's almost there. We have small restaurant streets, but this place mainly selling the souvenir and also the manju. Hmm, smell of tatami. Another souvenir store. Ah. There are so many souvenir places. Really enjoyable. Oh, there is a cafe. They sell crepes and the seafood bowl and also the perfect as well. White bait bowl is 1,400 Japanese yen. And also this place, it's a traditional place. Old fashioned restaurant. I still can't believe it's still summer vacation, but uh, few people, probably during the September, area of September, would be less. So the restaurant must be here. Is this the place? Oh, yeah, 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 this is the place. <laughs> Let me see if the terrace seat is still open. Alright, here we go. Yes, still the seat is available. And wow. That's a beautiful terrace seat. So those are the menu items they have. It's the seafood bowl, the regular kai dong. It's 2,145 Japanese yen. However, they have a special one, which is the crab miso soup. The price is 2,640 Japanese yen. You know what, since we are here, Let's eat something special. So, yep, this is the one. Well, it's because of beside the ocean. It's super windy, but it's okay. Shogunai. So, they have the deep fried shrimp. Oh, and also they have the beer too. The price is 715 Japanese yen. Well, <laughs> sounds like we are at the travel spot. So, it's okay. You know, this time we get the crab miso soup. So, Hmm. Beer? Maybe next time. <laughs> you know, water is good for health, so come by. <sighs> Psycho. You know what? I just realized that we can see from here the people over there. And also from under the table as well. Well, I thought this is so cool place, but uh, after I came over here, I feel kind of scary. So yeah, if you're afraid of the heights, before you come over here, you should think about it. By the way, there is a place to eat inside the restaurants as well, so just don't sit by the terrace seat. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Loving it. Hopefully, you know, this place somehow I can hear some weird noise. The, hopefully, the sound is okay though. Look at the view. Alright, so here we go. I don't know where to start. Uh, let me start with this miso soup. Yeah, I think miso soup would be better. So, look at that. There is a huge crab inside it. Actually, this one is known for it, mostly for dashi. So, itadakimasu. Oh, it's so Nice crab dashi, perfectly matches with miso soup. I love it. Can I just bite it? This one. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. 
So the next allegamist, look at this, their special wine. There is a white bait, sweet shrimp, also turban shell, maguro, salmon, octopus, squid. There are just so many. Well, you know what? Actually, I have no idea where to start. That's okay. Let's eat randomly. You know, since Enoshima, the octopus is popular as well. So let me start from octopus. Mm. And there is turban shell. It's pretty good with beer. With water, it's good too, I believe. <laughs> mm. ah, probably yeah, I'd better mix wasabi with soy sauce and uh, I can just place it. That would be easier. This is not the way to eat beautifully. So, you know, if you go to the, some super fancy restaurants, Maybe you shouldn't do that, but here, you know, terrace seat, no one watching me, so I don't care. Itadakimasu. Hmm. And I guess that's fatty tuna. It is soft and nice. <laughs> now, it's time for the shrimp. And here, this is the something special over here. It's the white bait with the ikura. Mm. A little bit salty, perfectly matches with soy sauce with wasabi. Nice. Well, you know what? I found this place by the photo. You know, when I see the photo, I was like, Beautiful, then, then I got to go there. But <laughs> if you come over here, you know, it's super windy and kind of hard to eat. But uh, it's still beautiful though. It's like <laughs> always you are seeing, you know, what the Instagram show and uh, what, you know, the actual life is. <laughs> well, I always want to share my honest opinion and, uh, you know, how it was in the real life. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Yes, this place, it's good, but uh, super windy, as you see my hair. Kind of funny, though. <laughs> but really enjoyable. You know what I realized? I just realized that maybe I'd better use this spoon for the seafood bowl. It's much easier to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering what this is. Seems like there is an octopus and uh, also the onion. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Kind of mild taste. A little bit spicy because of the onion. Must be good with beer. But good with water too. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat crab like this forever. <laughs> well, one thing we have to be careful is that you know, usually this Enoshima Island is super crowded. So if you are in the season, come over here, you have to wait for a very long time for the terrace seed. So yeah, you'd better come over here if there are not so many people at the Enoshima Island. Because it's kind of like end of the Enoshima Island. So even you see this place is super packed, you can't really go back because it would take a long time, so maybe <laughs> kind of gambling, but uh, if you are lucky and you can find a seat, yeah, definitely. It's a really beautiful place to come. It's almost time of the sunset, really beautiful. <laughs> I can be here forever. Well, <laughs> they're almost closing though. Now seems like more people are by the ocean. We are getting there, so let's go. Even it's not terraced. Really nice atmosphere inside. Whew, that was pretty good. So the price was 2,640 Japanese yen. Well, thinking about the price, maybe if you go to the other restaurant, you can have the better quality seafood. However, 
because of the terra sphere. Yeah, that's priceless, and it worked it. Now let's go to check the sunset. Oh, there is another restaurant. But seems like this place don't have terrace though. Wow, look at that. The sunset. Really beautiful. There is a vending machine, but uh, seems like all of them pretty much sold out. Wow. Speechless. Beautiful. I can forget the time here. Oh, here. There is a restroom. Oh, the last time when I was here, I forgot to visit this Enoshima Caves. I'm wondering how it looks like. Let's go. So I guess that's the cave. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, we need to pay 500 Japanese yen. Oh, now it's 5.52 and the last entrance is 6 p.m. So, uh, still we can be in there. Alright, so the price was 500 Japanese yen. Oh my goodness. Wow. So, inside there are many photos that you can learn the history of Enoshima. This is Enoshima that all the people drove. I think it's over 100 years ago. So this is the first route. Oh, kind of scary. You know, the center of the Earth and the Disney Sea. This is like a real version of center of the Earth. Sweet, we can borrow the lantern over there for free. And from here, we have to explore the cave with this lantern. Oh my goodness, this place. Much cooler compared to outside. And uh, for adults, you have to be careful for your head. Oh, we can't go from here. I'm wondering where it continues. <laughs> Wait, from a long ago. It is said that this cave is connected with Narusawa Ice Cave at the foot of Mount Fuji. Really? What a coincidence! So that means if we continue walking, we can get to Mount Fuji. But we will get in there, so that's okay. And what do we have over here? Oh my goodness. Yeah, the water from the ocean is coming here. So what do we have? Oh, that's the shrine. Don't throw the coin. Yeah, that's what he says. Don't throw. Ah, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet. So, what's the next? Inside the cave, it was really cool, but outside, it's kind of hot and really humid. Really interesting. So now we are heading to the next cave. I guess this is the way. Oh, actually, it's not that cave. It's just a pier. <laughs> oh, wait, there is a cave. So, yeah, this is the way. It's the lantern. I see so many kinds of, you know, lantern at Enoshima Island. So, yeah. This is the one, huh? What is that? Oh, that's dragon. Of the magic dragon, away by the sea. Oh. <laughs> there is a sound, and uh, really, still there is a way to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just the way to come back. Wow. Look at the moon. Beautiful. Oh, uh, seems like because of the crowd, we can't really see the sunset. But still, 
beautiful. Well, so before it gets dark, let's go back. We have to go back all the way down. <sighs> oh my goodness, it's so tiring. However, I think it's good practice for Mount Fuji challenge, hopefully. I can go up there. Oh, thank God. Uh, we have the bending machine. <laughs> Stay away, let's do it. Oh, I haven't placed the coin yet. Cafe latte. Oh, you know what? It's not working because they are out of the change. I don't need a change, but please give me cafe ole. <laughs> That's okay. Never mind. Let's find the next one. Oh, here. Wait. No cafe ole. Next. All right, finally we find the cafe ole. Sweet. Wait. Uh, what is this? Seems like the mystery drink. <laughs> Should I get the mystery one or cafe ole? Uh, that's okay. Let's be a YouTuber. Here. Let me see what we get. Hopefully, cafe au lait. <laughs> you know what? It's a peach cider. The lucky one. I love it. By the way, when you go back, don't go there. This is the way easier and closer. So just come this way. Seems like you are not on the right track. However, yes, it's kind of like a hidden street. Many local people come by the motorbike and uh, watch the sunset and then come back here and go home. Yep, you see, there are so many motorbikes. There is no stairs, just a slope so that motorbike can ride. Oh, wow, nice. So this is the cider I got from the mystery vending machine. It's the Mitsuya cider, the condensed peach. I like this. Psycho. Well, not sure if it's expired. No, right? That's okay, who cares? Whatever it is, you know, I got the discounted and the lucky one, so I'm happy with it. Come by for that. Oh, uh, the town almost getting lighted up. I love the town at the Bay Area. Just keep straight and you will get back to this shrine. Yes, from that shrine, just turn right. If you want to go to the cave, you can get there. Much easier. Oh, everyone is taking photo. What's going on? Oh, wait. It's lighted up. Nice. Huh. Beautiful, and <laughs> it's gone. So it seems like we were right on time, huh? Next morning, it's the goldfish. Wait, it's gone. <laughs> and now it's Fujin. <laughs> seems like most of the store is closing, but uh, in the nighttime, Enoshima, different vibes and beautiful. I love the night atmosphere of the Bay Area town. Wait, <laughs> is that Mount Fuji? Well, because of the crowd, we can't really see, but I believe that's Mount Fuji. See you soon, I'll be there. Ooh, we came back to Enoshima Station. It is really unique. Yep, hey, unique. It was a bit tiring but really enjoyable. Hopefully, you guys enjoy virtual travel to Japan through this video. And uh, yes, Mount Fuji Challenge Yamanashi trip is coming soon, so please look forward to that too.
Yes, more adventures are coming, so don't be shy. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and hit the notification button so that you will not miss my new video in the surprise live stream. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. And a big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please check my Patreon account. So, see you in the next video. See you Ciao! <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank God, there is a family murder. That means I can get the cafe latte over here. Hi, Zamos. Psycho. <laughs> I just love drinking cold cafe latte and the hot summer night and I really enjoyed it. And maybe I'm a little bit, little bit, just a little bit addicted on coffee, but uh, not that bad. Yeah, because only I drink, you know, there's two or three cups of coffee. I have learned the addiction of the caffeine when I was in the college. Uh, I used to study in psychology when I was in college. Well, caffeine addiction is kind of a big social problem. So yeah, if you drink and love coffee, you gotta be careful too. <laughs> I love coffee though. <laughs> but uh, yes, we gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, I gotta be careful. Loving it. <laughs> Oops. Yes, you gotta be careful.